Nickers, why are you shopping in there like it's Sears and Roebuck? Get out of there, silly girl. What are you doing this morning? What, you wanna go out? I really enjoy making videos and sharing them on our channel. I'm also a fan of several channels, and one of my absolute favorites is Parlay Revival. One of the reasons we purchased a boat with hurricane damage was watching Colin and his crew resurrect Parlay Revival. When I heard he and his crew were in town restoring a hurricane damaged boat, I jumped at the chance to help. How could I not help someone who has helped me so much through their videos? So off to work I went. At Riviera Beach Marina. Been working with Colin this week from Parlay Revival on this boat that he's restoring. He's doing an absolutely fantastic job on it. Take a moment to subscribe to Parlay Revival. Their channel is awesome. And if you really want to learn a lot about catamarans and what it's like to work on a boat like this, that is definitely the channel for you. So take a moment to subscribe to them and click the bell so you get their notifications. I'm a big fan. I don't never miss an episode. It's been a lot of fun, a real learning experience. And the group from Parlay Revival are just amazing people. Just absolutely fantastic people. Which has uh, made it even more fun than work. So it's been kind of cool. I'll show you a little bit. There's the boat. It is a Fontaine Peugeot. It is just a gorgeous boat. That was damaged in a hurricane. The attention to detail that they're putting into this boat is just absolutely amazing. It's coming out great. Here are a few moments of what my week was like. To see the full project and really appreciate everything that's being done, you can subscribe to Parlay Revival. I focused my attention mostly on the port side. Any cracks I found near the stanchion areas, I ground out with the Dremel. After a serious cleaning with acetone, we would use a two-part filler that you'd have about 10 minutes to work with after you mixed it real well, and then it would become as hard as a rock. Then you would apply the mixture onto the clean, dry surface, and you would wait for it to harden. Real fun begins. You sand and sand and sand again. And in most cases, I would apply a second coat and even a third coat of filler just to make sure everything came out perfect. exactly what they're doing so that's really helpful so um, yeah I, I kind of like it I need some aspirin
was thinking. I would grab it, but I got no thumbs. It's like they can see it before it hits the water and they all start going for it. It's kind of cool. This three is another one too. Look, there's one up there too. This is all over the place today. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe. We appreciate it. We'll see you out on the water.